Greetings, Patriarch. I am Merlwib Lufisvin, Admiral of Limsa Liminsa. I come before you to offer my sincerest apologies for the many wrongs committed by my people against you and yours. <laughs> you were foolish to come here. Stupid, unwise foolish. The Great Father shall have your souls for your folly. Aye, just as we thought. Now, Alize, quickly! You don't need to tell me! Let none pass. We must grant her as much time as we can.
Did it work? What? I'm sorry, but they died by your hand. You sacrificed them to summon Titan. Would that there were a cure for the victims of the Tempered. Gabu! What are you doing here? Patriarch! Please listen to me! Hear! Heed! Listen! summoning is false. He only hurts us and those we love. For a long time, his voice filled my mind. He told me to do terrible things. Awful, unspeakable, terrible things. But I didn't give in to it. And you mustn't either. There's been too much pain already. So please, end the suffering. What... what have I done? We share this child's desire, Patriarch. An end to summoning, for it spells naught but misery for both our peoples. For many long years, man and kobold have feuded over territory pillaging and perishing for the earth beneath our feet. It may be said that we fought to survive, but what we have sown in blood, we have reaped in suffering, and it cannot go on. I would see us set aside the past and work together for peace. It was wrong of me to hurt my own in the name of the Great Father. Sinful, evil, wrong. But that doesn't mean there can be peace between us. Men cannot be trusted. The bounty of the land was to be ours, and yours the bounty of the sea. But you broke the pact. Violated, breached, broke. Unready as we were, what choice had we but to call upon the Divine to rid ourselves of your tyranny? None. And I do not blame you for it. In violation of the spirit, if not the letter, of the Pact, we took your lands for our own. The fault lies wholly with us. On behalf of all Lamincens, 
I offer you my humblest apology. I pray you'll find it in your heart to accept it. Yet I know an apology alone will not serve to make things right. So, we will revise the pact to leave no room for doubt, and any who violate it shall face justice swift and certain. No, we won't be fooled. Not again. Please, hear me to the end. Fleeting though it was, there was a time when man and kobold abided together in harmony, in cooperation. In those days, your people shared the secrets of smelting, knowledge which allowed Limsa Laminsa to thrive. Much of what we have we owe to the kobolds. And so, for the good of all who dwell on this isle, I wish to make you an offer. We will bear your people's wares to every corner of the world and trade them in your stead. In return, we will bring you the bounty, not only of the sea, but lands both near and far. Whatever you desire, the Navigator as my witness, you shall have it. There will be no more man and beastmen. Just the crew of the great ship that is Vilbrand. And together, we will share in the wealth of the world. If you'll only accept our hand in friendship. We want to believe you. We truly do. But we believed you before and you betrayed us. Fooled, deceived, betrayed us! There are bad men, it's true. But there are also good ones. And the ones before you are the best of them. They were always kind to me. Caring, nice, kind, and I trust them with my life. Before I became Admiral, I was a pirate. I stole. I fought. I stained the sea red with blood. Such is my past, and I dare not forget it, however much I might want to. That is death penalty. The pistol I used to pass judgment on my own sire when he fell thrall to Leviathan and betrayed his comrades. It's loaded. If you were to point it at my head and pull the trigger, I would most assuredly die. Though it isn't much, my life is the single most valuable thing I possess. If it will suffice to atone for past wrongs, take it. A single bullet to annul the old pact and my blood to write it anew. What comes after, I entrust to this man, my second in command. I know that he will do his utmost for the happiness of all who call Vilbrand home.
I do not trust you. Not yet. But Gabu does. And I will trust him. We want you to know that we respect your faith. There's nothing wrong with giving thanks to the land which sustains you. But summoning is different. Should you hear of anyone who would attempt it, we ask that you appeal to their better judgment, or failing that, seek our aid. We're always ready to help. Many and more of my brethren are yet in thrall to the Great Father, just as I was. If you could free them too, I would be grateful. Appreciative, thankful, grateful. Tis we who should be grateful, Patriarch. I thank you for affording us this chance. Right. Let's return to the Rising Stones. Admiral, something strange is afoot at the floating city. Breathe, man. What is it? I think it's best you see for yourself. Please, come with me. What in the world is that? A tower! You can see it too, then. I feared I was losing my wits. One moment I was patrolling, as usual, and the next it was just... there! Yes? This is she. I am. I... I'm looking at it. What? Understood. Send the Elder Seedseer my regards. The communications officer. It seems this isn't the only tower. They've sprung up all across Eorzea. Nothing more is known, only that they appear to be of Garlean construction. Our allies on the Alamegan front are on highest alert. 
Forgive my directness, but would you join them? They may well need the help. Of course, Admiral. We shall make all haste. My thanks. I will return to Limsa to weigh our response. Look for Commander Hext when you arrive in Alamigo. And may the Navigator speed you on your way. Thank you for coming so soon. I'll send for Commander Aldin at once, and we can decide what to do about these infernal towers. It can't be. Here, good. Well, 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 to be received by such an illustrious cast. <gasps> Why? Even the hero of the piece is here. I feel quite starstruck. Is that... Asahi? His body more like. You don't fool us. Oh! You saw straight through it. Anyone would think you dealt with Asians before. Permit me to introduce myself. I am Fandani. <laughs> And may I say what a pleasure it is to finally make your acquaintance. My! Straight to business, is it? Suit yourself. It is my intention to recreate the final days. To which end I have distributed a collection of rather ingenious devices or towers, which will, in time, give rise to the grandest of spectacles. The final days? But it was the Asians who laboured to prevent them. You're quite right, though I would expect no less from one responsible for eliminating my unsundered colleagues. Honestly, the three of them were obsessed with restoring the one true world. As a sovereign individual, however, I never had much interest in such things. I mean, why bother when you're just another sundered minion? Admittedly, Elidibus was not convinced by that argument. But thanks to you, I'm finally free of his incessant nagging. Free to use my powers as I see fit, to fulfill my heart's desire. And my heart's desire is to lay this half-broken world to waste, leaving nary a fleck of dust behind! 
What? Why would you want such a thing? Because I want wretched creatures who ask such meaningless questions to die! You! And you! And you! I want you all to die! And I want to die too! Oh yes! I want to die and take everyone with me in a paroxysm of pain and suffering! I'm different, you see, from the ancients who clung to dear life, and from you. So don't bother trying to reason with me. You will find I have no reason, or creed, or any such tripe. I just want to destroy the world. But please do resist with all your might. It will add to my enjoyment. Now then, ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes peeled, for the curtains have risen on the spectacle to end all spectacles. We, the Telophoroi, shall be your performers and this very star our stage. I nearly forgot. I have a message for you. <clears throat> My esteemed patron, Lord Xenos, eagerly awaits you at the heart of the chaos. While I wish only to destroy the world, he exists solely to relive a certain, hmm, transcendent moment with you. And it is for that reason he would reduce all to ash. Pray see to it his dreams do not go unfulfilled, for if you should disappoint him, my trusty companion here, whom I've dubbed Luna Bahamut, will burn your cities and everyone in. Everyone out! My men will tend to the blaze.
The scouts should have been back by now. I'm gonna go and find them. Oh, thank goodness for that. The piles have been driven as planned, and the first of the beasts has roared to life. Moreover, I am pleased to report that preparations are well underway for the rest. Ere long, chaos shall reign over all the land, as befits the final days. Call it what you will, so long as my friend returns to me, fangs bared and claws sharpened, I care not. Of course, my lord. By strange coincidence, your dear friend chanced to be present when I made my declaration. I took the liberty of informing him that you await his coming, though I confess I may have singed him a little in the process. And why do you tell me this? Are you in such a hurry to die? Ah, my apologies. I must guard my tongue lest it be the end of me. Though, there is something to be said for such a glorious death. Better to fall to one who has it all than falter before an inferior. Huh. I shall keep it in mind as a contingency. For now, however, I shall proceed with the plan. My lord. I must find myself a new weapon. One worthy of our long-awaited reunion.